Hey guys, EMP5 Reviews here. Today I have episode 7 of my Medal of Honor story series about Major William Adams and his actions during the Vietnam War. Early Life and Service Major Adams was born in Casper, Wyoming on June 6, 1939. He attended the Wentworth Military Academy in Lexington, Missouri, where he graduated in the junior college class of 1959. Three years later, Adams graduated from Colorado State University as a member of the class of 1962. His military service. Adams joined the United States Army in Kansas City, Missouri in 1962. He began his tour in Vietnam on July 6, 1970. Adams was a member of the Alpha 227 Assault Helicopter Company, 52nd Aviation Battalion, 17th Aviation Group, 1st Aviation Brigade. On May 25, 1971, Adams, a major, volunteered to fly a lightly armed helicopter mission to rescue three wounded soldiers from a besieged firebase in Kontum Province, despite the clear weather which would provide the numerous enemy anti-aircraft around the location with clear visibility. Despite fire from machine gun emplacements and rockets, Adams succeeded in landing at the firebase while supporting helicopter gunships attack the enemy positions. After takeoff, however, the helicopter was hit by fire. Adams momentarily regained control and attempted to land. However, the helicopter exploded in midair and crashed. Adams, who was 31 at the time, was killed. His Medal of Honor citation reads, The President of the United States of America, in the name of Congress, takes pride in presenting the Medal of Honor posthumously to Major William Edward Adams, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, while serving with Alpha 227 Assault Helicopter Company, 52nd Aviation Battalion, 17th Aviation Group, 1st Aviation Brigade, in action against enemy aggressor forces at Kontum Province, Republic of Vietnam, on 25 May 1971. On that date, Major Adams volunteered to fly a lightly armed helicopter in an attempt to evacuate three seriously wounded soldiers from a small firebase which was under attack by a large enemy force. He made the decision with full knowledge that numerous anti-aircraft weapons were positioned around the base, and that the clear weather would afford the enemy gunners unobstructed view of all routes into the base. As he approached the base, the enemy gunners opened fire with heavy machine guns, rocket-propelled grenades, and small arms. Undaunted by the fusillade, he continued his approach determined to accomplish the mission. Displaying tremendous courage under fire, he calmly directed the attacks of supporting gunships while maintaining absolute control of the helicopter he was flying. He landed the aircraft at the fire base despite the ever-increasing enemy fire and calmly waited until the wounded soldiers were placed on board. As his aircraft departed from the firebase, it was struck and seriously damaged by enemy anti-aircraft fire and began descending. Flying with exceptional skill, he immediately regained control of the crippled aircraft and attempted a controlled landing. Despite his valiant efforts, the helicopter exploded, overturned, and plummeted to the earth amid the hail of enemy fire. Major Adams' conspicuous gallantry, intrepidity, and humanitarian regard for his fellow man were in keeping with the most cherished traditions of the military service and reflected utmost credit on him and the United States Army. Adams is buried at Fort Logan National Cemetery in Denver, Colorado. His grave can be found in plot PO Grave 3831. The Vietnam War Memorial, formerly on the campus of Wentworth Military Academy, is the same make and model helicopter that Adams was flying when he was killed. Adams is listed on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial on panel 03W, row 054. If you like this video, please give it a like and a share. If you are so inclined, please also subscribe to the channel and I will continue my Medal of Honor series. For now, that's it. Have a good day.